How to use perks in Friday the 13th the game and win your every future round. Lot of people don't know how to use perks properly for each counselor so I'm going to show you what perks to use for every and each counselor separately. According to Friday the 13th the game wiki the number of perks is around 45 in total and some of them have problem to work but the fix is to just deactivate them and then activate them again in the three bars column. Keep in mind that perks can be bought and also sold by displayed buttons in the counselor section so do not panic if your perk library will become full. Usually I'm trying to get only epic perks that's because I can be then sure it will mostly work and won't fail on me. So you probably already know the perks are grouped to specific groups like poor perks, common perks, uncommon perks, rare perks and epic perks that are also labeled with specific colors again display in counselor section. Keep in mind that women in this game have usually problem with their strength stats so the best way to defend themselves is to use flare guns, shotguns or even firecrackers. Let's start with Vanessa Jones the athletic girl she has really bad stealth which means that we need some perk that will help her not not be sensed much plus that will make her sneaky without making enough sound for Jason to see from any distance sound is usually represented by white circles from Jason's perspective. We have heavy sleeper perk which means that while you hide inside sleeping bag there is possibility that Jason won't sense you at all then there is level headed perk which means that you shouldn't be sensed at all no matter what you will do at the specific time Jason's sensibility is on. Level headed is almost the best perk we could get for this kind kind of situation now let's look at something else that our Vanessa is missing. Oh repair is really bad too but since I don't own any related perk to repairing stuff I will at least tell you which perk is the best for this. Tinker perk is the only one that should do the job and that will increase the repairing speed but be ready that there is also negative side of this perk that will decrease your overall stamina according to Friday the 13th the game wiki. Another thing that Vanessa is really bad at is composure means she gets scared really easily not to mention when Jason grabs her then it's really really hard to escape his grip this is really complicated if he will grab you and you'll get the chance to escape you still will be scared enough to almost not see anything thanks to vignette effect that appears when fear kicks in if you won't have enough stamina to run away after you will escape Jason's grab then choose a line rush since it gives you and stamina boost after successful break free from his grab but if you just want to be sure that you won't get scared easily then you have many possibilities since there are many perks for this problem but personally I would recommend you Lone Wolf that basically reduces your fear at the worst time possible when you are alone without any teammate close to your range. The other perks for composure are more like specifically triggered by actions for example while you are in hiding spot or when you see dead body of one of the teammates not to mention the action where loss of mini map does not occur with fear. Remember you always have only three slots for perks you can use in game I recommend you to always use those three perks that will help to your counselors less developed stats. Since Vanessa still has little bit of problem with her strength I would like to choose fourth perk but I cannot since the game allows only three active perks in game but if I would like to choose the rent perk instead of the ones I've already selected I would go with thrasher perk sucker punch perk slugger perk or heavy hitter perk these are perks that will help her strength but also some of these perks require specific weapons to work. Keep in mind that every weapon also have different stats shown here via this image which you already could see in the section how to play of the main menu. Now let's get to Deborah Kim the bookish girl what has really big problem with strength that means 1 out of 10 and as I already said the best perks for this kind of problem are thrasher perk sucker perk h perk slugger perk and heavy hitter perk. Deborah also has a problem with stamina but it's not a huge problem since there are many good perks to use like restful perk marathon perk easy listening perk and a tree line rush perk sure some of them require special actions to work but it is not so complicated like earlier mentioned perks her luck is another problem that needs some boost too but since I don't have the man at arms perk that increases weapon durability for all weapons I will choose some other perk that still defines word luck 
I think the pyro perk that will let Jason be stunned for much longer period of time after flare gun shot is good choice if you do not have the man at arms one or even thick skinned is not bad since you won't die instantly after few hits from Jason's weapon. The last thing that is worth the perk is speed since it is not at least 5 of 10 for this I choose swift attacky perk since I don't have special perk for speed and this perk will at least make me fast while trying to hit Jason. I can also take evasion which means that when I will do my dodging trick sideways I will be much faster than normally. There are many perks for speed and if I should choose the best for movement speed then it would be Aquanaut that will make you much faster while you swim as this is the most worst dangerous thing you can do in the game plus Jason can eliminate you without any struggle so the faster swimming in water is a must the only negative is that your sprint speed can be decreased. Of course there are other perks for speed but the rest is more focused on specific actions which you have to make throughout every round. Now the not so useful counselor that is Tiffany Cox the flirty girl what is more lone wolf than any other counselor I'm afraid. Her stamina same for speed and stealth are not a bad thing but when it cares to teamwork she is nothing that means no fast repairing no strength to protect herself or other counselors not to mention she gets scared very easily. It will be more complicated then because I don't even have the most fitting perk here and yes that is the Tinker perk which I already shown you it would really help Tiffany a lot. Let's look at another counselor because I already told you what to use for these bad stats that Tiffany owns to now since I've already told you what perks to use for each skill let's talk about the best of counselors and the next one is Kenny Rydell aka the head counselor he is the most stat balanced counselor of the whole game at least right now plus he is one of the counselors that are based on real people what have backed up the game on the known kickstarter campaign if you want to know more watch previous video on this channel for kenny i would go with your most favorite and ever used epic perks since he has really balanced stats you can make counselor of your choice without any problem just choose what you would like him to do best and you got your own hero without the need to call tommy jarvis Personally I would choose the mention Tinker perk for repairing the rest full for stamina and the level headed for high stealth or instead of stealth perk I would use firecracker perk that will give you firecrackers at the start of every round. It can stop Jason when you are about to repair something or when you are about to escape by vehicle not to mention the increased stun radius. After Kenny there is Jenny Myers Michaels Myers sister. Just kidding but the voice actor Christina Klebe is actually the Linda Van Der Klok in the Halloween remake from year 2007. This counselor has huge problem with strength which means 1 out of 10 again and since we know what to do with that let's look at her other low stats well this girl next door cannot really do much with repairing stuff plus running because her speed is also really bad luckily we know how to fix this but only when we have the right perks. The best thing about her is her composure but there is also negative which will lead her to be more scared than any other counselor if the composure will fail on her. Here we have Chad Kensington nicknamed the preppy guy that appears like Lone Wolf since he cannot repair well and his strength for a man is really bad but the weird fact is that his composure is 1 of 10 which means that if he is alone and nobody is nearby he will get scared quickly even the stamina skill is really bad so choose your 3 perks wisely. Surprisingly the only good thing about him is his luck that is 10 out of 10. Luckily the rocket chick AJ Mason is different piece of work she has really bad luck and strength but the rest seems to work well if you will choose one of the stamina perks instead of the speed perks as the stamina will always run out fast not like speed stat that is overall part of every move done by counselors. Another character that is based on real person what backed up the game on the Kickstarter campaign in the past is Brandon Bugsy Wilson nicknamed the jock. He has the biggest strength out of every counselor and he appears as an fit kind of guy but he really lacks of repairing 1 out of 10. His luck plus stealth would even kill other counselors around him but if he is played right and the player that owns him protects others while others are protecting him then even with his bad composure here is still possibility that he won't ruin lot. I would ignore his composure and I would more focus on his repair stat stealth stat and luck stat because being around other counselors nearby can already help to his composure a lot.
Here goes the nerd Eric Jr. Lashup based again on real backing campaign person and is the most helpful counselor in terms of repairing where he owns full 10 out of 10 but he is really complicated in terms of perks. His biggest weakness is his obvious low stamina same for the speed and strength let's just forget about the composure that is again based on teamwork plus light. At least he won't get spotted thanks to his high stealth stat. Last counselor that is based on real bagger and the last counselor of this game now is Adam Palomino nicknamed the edgy guy that like Brandon has no problem to fight Jason since he has really good stretch there is no problem for him to even protect his own bike. His biggest problem however is his luck and lack of stealth plus stamina but nothing that three perks cannot handle, at least he is fearless through his good composure.